After you've made the base for your container, you're going to set that aside and grab some more clay. This time, instead of tapping out the corners, you're going to kind of roll it into a cylinder in your, the palm of your hands and get it kind of started. When you're rolling um, clay, sometimes it feels like there's too much so you can put half of it aside and all I did was twist some off. Roll it a little bit more to get it started and then when you're rolling coils, you're going to keep them in the top parts of your fingers. If you do it here, you'll get flat spots. So rocking it back and forth and as you get it going, then I want you to take your fingers and go outward. You can see a thick spot here. You can move on to those thick spots and start rolling until it's the thickness of your pinky finger. You don't want it too thin because it'll crack. You also don't want to ball it back up and try again because you'll trap air. So you're going to roll a small spiral at first and then what you're going to do is roll it so that it's a little bit below itself. I'm just kind of building it up and each row goes a little further out on the edge. At this point, you want it to stay together, so you're going to hold it in the palm of your hand and you're going to blend out all of those seams. So I'm going to come up a little closer. And as I do this, you can see that I'm smearing the interior part of the, the top lid, getting all those cracks to go away with just my fingertip. So that way you don't have to score and slip and you can still see that it looks like a swirl. Now, mine doesn't quite fit yet. It looks like it could use one more row. So I'm just going to set it aside, grab some more clay, and roll that edge. You're going to add it on, going around the outside edge, and then checking to see if it fits your container. If it's too much, then you can take some off, but right now it looks like mine fits really nice. So then I'm going to blend that extra part that I just put on with my finger. Now if you want to add sprinkles or cherries or the decorations to your outside part of your project, your, your cherry cannot be too large because it will take too long to dry out. So no bigger than a half inch. You have to score and slip it. So remember to put your score marks on just what you're making and where you're going to attach it. Add a little water, swirl it around till it creates slip, and then twist on those additions. Um, little sprinkles and things can be added with scoring and slipping, but you can also add them as a texture with just your tool. I want you to make sure that there's part of the inside of your project smoothed out so that you can write your initials inside the lid as well the best you can. There will be little pointy sticks for you to use as well. And then when it's completely done, you're going to take both of your pieces, set them together, and place them on the cart to, so that they can dry out and I can fire them. All right, have fun making your cupcake containers. Take your time, do a nice job. Um, if you're having any problems, throw that hand in the air and I will come to you. Thank you so much for listening.